Hey, what's up? This is Mia, and today we are going to talk about the plans for the homestead this year. So, let's begin. Spring is near, and we got a lot going on already this early in the season. So, um, before we had all of our furniture redesign and home redesigning stuff on the same channel as the homesteading. After a while, I just realized that was just a bit overbearing because we would have to bounce back and forth between the two. So what I decided to do was spread, or I'm sorry, separate the channels. So I separate the video. So you now have our homesteading stuff here and you're gonna see the makeover of the house the inside of the house on our other channel chairs and pairs I already have some of the older videos posted over there uh, if not already it should be in the featured area on my page our featured channels on my page if you want to go ahead and subscribe to that channel and keep up with our progress but uh, pretty soon I'm going to have a lot of new videos coming that is dedicated to that project so I hope you guys subscribe to that as well and for those that were here because of that I apologize it just keeps everything more organized for me the second thing is I really sat down and did a lot of reviewing on what I wanted to do different this year and after writing stuff down I decided to come out and actually kind of do a walkthrough to see how the yard looks and to see what else I missed and standing out here I realized we got a lot to do now that we're into the second year of homesteading I had a nice amount of time to really sit down and really evaluate what I wanted to see different and also learn about new things and new methods that I can apply to the homestead so from the top to the bottom, we got a lot of different problems, not problems, a lot of different projects that we're gonna implement. Starting with the trello bed. The intention of it was for like, I would say squash or cucumber to grow on. Turns out that didn't work out as hot. So what we're gonna do is remove that trello bed and we're gonna actually put a couple of fruit trees over there. I wanted to really utilize that space as much as possible to grow something so we figured like a couple of semi dwarf fruit trees in that area would be great so we're going to actually have a I guess product reveal I'm going to order from Stark Brothers a couple of fruit trees and you guys are going to go with me through the process of putting it in unboxing and all that good stuff so that's the first thing we got going another thing that we're going to do is we're going to repair all the trellises so there's some trellises there are some spots that didn't have trellises and some spots that did but they weren't as strong as i thought so for instance our blackberry trellis is in grave need for an update so I thought what we created last year was gonna work. And I learned very quickly that blackberry vines do what they want to do, no matter what you create. And building a fence up to the knee is, or to the, the hip is not gonna work. So this year we actually wanna build that bed up and build the trellis behind it up so that the blackberries can really grow freely like they want. Right now, we had to kind of, last year we had to kind of cut them down and rearrange them and move them around and that just didn't do well for us. So this year we're gonna build it up and make it stronger and sturdier. We're also gonna apply a trellis to also the raspberry area and probably our blueberry area. So, in our tomato area. You guys, you gotta check my past videos. We had a lot of craziness going on with those tomatoes last year. So that's what we're gonna do with the trellis. Another area that we're going to work on is our boxes. So right now the boxes are low to the ground. They're not bad, but I actually want to raise them up. Um, it's really uncomfortable to do all this squat and that kneeling and stuff like that for me. Uh, so I just figured that this year we're going to try raising them up. What I did, I went ahead and did a sample 
of I took the trailer bed down and I used that box it's about to fall apart but I used it to actually just sit it on top of one of the boxes to kind of see how it's going to look once we add it because I didn't want it to go over 16 inches I didn't really want it to be a 16 inches I wanted to kind of stay between 12 and 16 uh, but it looks really good and I think after looking at that little semi prototype that I created off a of whim we're gonna go ahead and move on and actually build on to the boxes and make them a lot bigger and we will are a lot taller so we're gonna show you that and we're gonna add an extra box over the Hugo culture mound that we used to have our string beans uh, at speaking of string beans so last year we had a real bad storm come through and man it tore our string beans up like it was growing beautifully it was on a kind of a weak trellis i thought it was cute it was on sale it was cheap it was me being cheap and <laughs> i bought it and the storm came through and blew those things away and destroyed all of our green beans so what we're going to do different this year is we're going to take that big open space back there where all my potting potting plants used to be on all those um pallets we remove those and we're actually going to call it a, a bean bed i'm making a bean bed where we're going to actually build some beds some very narrow garden beds and put in there some cow panels for our beans and stuff to grow so it's going to be pretty cool trying that out for the first time but the goal was to create something that was way more durable than last year and if the wind comes it doesn't just blow it over so we're going to give that a try so i did do a lot of potted plants last year this year i'm not doing as many uh, and if i do do some they're actually going to be rearranged a little bit um i'm redesigning the pots uh, the tomatoes not the tomatoes the potatoes grew pretty decent but they were very limited space and as i was learning this winter i did the planting wrong so i'm going to revamp it a little bit and as for our fruit trees we're going to go through and prune the fruit trees because i really don't want them to be 12 feet to 16 feet to 50 feet tall i don't want them to be that tall because that's going to block all the sunlight that comes in the yard so we're going to prune them back we got a lot of small branches that are crossing and a lot of vertical branches growing up that can cause us a headache and in that space since we're talking about fruit trees we are going to add some more hibiscus plants over there not hibiscus hydrangeas i love hydrangeas so we're probably going to fill up that wall with hydrangeas and we're going to hopefully build our fence this is going to be our second go around like this the i like to call it the no dig fence we're going to build our no dig fence also on that side as well so that's only a few things that i can think of off the top of my head that like I said, the goal is to really not only grow successfully this year, but each year I try to learn something new on how I can make the garden more productive and beneficial for me and my family. So you guys stay tuned. We got a lot, a lot, a lot going on today. I'm just walking through. Uh, I may post a video of us cleaning up because it's even a lot of cleaning up we gotta do. We got, we usually rake up all the leaves that's in the area because we're gonna have to wood chip I didn't mention that we're gonna have to wood chip the area again uh, we do it every year so we got to do wood chip garden soil and compost so we're gonna have a pretty pretty full couple of seasons with you guys and I keep forgetting that other thing back there that tote I'm pointing that to that right we're going to do a rainwater system this year too I have two of them so you guys just stick around we got a lot going on this is why this is why i separated the videos because <laughs> i've learned so much and i'm going to apply so much this year to this channel that i just couldn't do both of them on one channel uh and that's not even talking about the canning and the seed germination and handmade homemade stuff it, it's we got a lot to do so anywho you guys i wanted to give you that update uh for those that have been on the channel thank you for those that are new welcome and for those that are thinking about subscribing go ahead subscribe you know you want to be here with that being said 
you guys have an awesome day and stay super tastic. Look forward to being with you. Peace.